Hello, Jeremy Chambers, Independence Acres Homestead. It is a uh, blustery Sunday afternoon here, just taking you along as we do some chores around the house, uh, check on the rabbits, and put up some new solar lights on the chicken coop and the outside of the bunny barn. So we had purchased these solar lights from Harbor Freight, oh, gee, about six months ago, sometime during this summer. And, uh, well, they've lasted for a little while, but water's gotten into the lights, and they're just not working the way that we wanted. So we picked up some new lights uh, off of Amazon. Uh, once again, a little expensive, but we're really hoping that they're going to do the job. So uh, we're going to actually be moving them from the corner of the bunny barn actually up into the peak, up a little lot higher up the wall here uh, on the eave here, just to give us a little bit more uh, visibility around the coop here because these lights have some adjustment to them. Okay, here's the same light on the chicken coop. You know, once again, worked great while it worked, but um, it stopped working. Uh, this one's been off for, goodness gracious, three, four months now, and I just haven't got it replaced yet. So. Looking forward to getting this one replaced so we don't have to watch out here, walk out here in the uh, pitch dark every evening when it's time to close up the chickens. Okay, so these are the solar lights that we picked up. We got them off of Amazon, and uh, pretty cool about them. They are, uh, you know, adjustable beams, solar panel, can tilt and rotate. Uh, it's got a bottom uh, LED array here to shine down so we can get some spotlight and also get just some uh, light over top of the door. So we're going to put this thing... Uh, right in the center of the uh, the gable up there so that we can get this um, you know working well so um, I gotta get the ladder up and we're gonna pull this old light off and then get this thing up So now, like I said, this is a pretty nice light for what it is. So a panel is adjustable. Uh, each of these spotlights in and out, you can rotate it up and down. So it's got a decent amount of usability. All right, so for what this is, it's a pretty nice light. But it doesn't come with a mounting template or bracket. So what I've got, I've got the two mounting holes here and here. It's the uh, keyhole style. So. I'm going to have to mark, put the screws in, and then get it up. All right, so the first one's done on the chicken coop. Now let's go to the bunny barn.
Okay, so now that I've got the old lights off, let me just show you guys something. I don't know if you can see or not, but see the moisture inside the Harbor Freight light? No, I mean really. If you're going to sell something as being intended for outdoors, please make it waterproof. Um, I mean, I know this is only a $20 light, but man, I, I hate spending money on something that doesn't last six months. Uh, the other one, the one that was on the Buddy Barn, you can see it actually has fared a little better. Uh, it actually still works, um, but the battery is not lasting as long as it did when we first got it. So, I'm done with them. Now that we've got the new lights up, it's time to do something fun. Let's go visit the bunnies. Hi, bunnies. Hi, guys. Chewie's mad at me. I didn't bring her any treats. Hey, Chewie. Hi, big mama. Come here. Hi. See, no treats. She's running from me. Now, our newest mom in the bunny barn here is Midnight. She just had babies last week, and uh, she is a very good mama so far. She did have nine. Um, we did lose one yesterday because of the cold. It must have latched on and not let go when she jumped out of the nest. So, uh, unfortunately, it uh, it succumbed to the cold temperatures last night, or two nights ago. Uh, but, you know, it's just what happens sometimes. So, she is... Um, actually a barnyard mutt that we got from somebody local and uh, she's been quite a pleasure to have around um, beautiful rabbit uh, nice body type uh, good size uh, she is a combination of Rex Californian and I believe Flemish Giant if I remember correctly I'll give her a couple treats here I'm just gonna give her a little bit of boss See, look as soon as she heard that bag give her some boss and um, some oats here hi midnight door here. She is just a beautiful bunny. Hi, Midnight. Hi. Yeah, saying hi. So she's going to enjoy her treat. The rest of the rabbits are just uh, kind of hunkered down in their nesting boxes. Oh, you probably want to see some of the babies, don't you? All right, let me see if I can find one. So they're going to look a little skinny. She's a night feeder. So she built a wonderful and amazing nest. Oh, here we go. There we go. Look at this little guy. Look at that. Poor little fish. It's waving. Hi. So this is her first litter. Um, they're not huge bunnies yet. Oh, come back here. There we go. Got it. Oh, and her gray hair just gets everywhere. Look at this little guy. Look at that little bunny. Look at the little bunny lips, the little bunny nose. So I'm really happy that we'll be able to have some uh, some bunny therapy this winter uh, with these guys. But uh, they're growing well. They're first starting to come in, and uh, we should begin to see eyes opening here in just another day or two. Well, maybe three days. We'll see. Uh, like I said, since she's it's her first litter, there's eight now nursing on her. So. Um, they're getting there. They are cute little bunnies, though. Hmm. I'm curious about the camera. There they are, Louis and Eleanor, right? There's uh, Louis over here, Eleanor back there, and uh, they're fitting in pretty well. Such beautiful rabbits. Um, just in the few weeks they've been here, we have really enjoyed having them here. Um, they're slowly getting used to us. Well, that about does it for chores outside today. Got the lights on, checked on the bunnies, so uh, looks like everything's doing pretty well. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like so you don't miss any future updates about what's going on here at the homestead. And until next time, God bless. Mm -hmm.